For too long, Ensman Farms have used the same design. Today, I try and stop that. I will design my own Enderman farm because in my world, I'm not allowed to use any tutorials. Let's see what I can make. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to this blind, all right? I've got a plan, okay? And as you can see, the first part of this farm is the base. Now, the problem I always have is that I build it out of a block that's easily broken. So today, this time, we're gonna be making it out of obsidian. Yeah, let's just see this is enough room. It's gonna look a little bit confusing right now, but I have the plan, okay. The next step is for these hoppers to go all the way around the edges. But basically, the endermen are going to fall here on the outside of it. So I've added a carpet in so no guys can spawn there because we want them to be one hit. Slabs up here, can't escape. I wanted to keep this three high, but obviously the enderman will be able to spawn, so uh, I'm going to make some lights. Oh my, what? That one light goes like all the way up over here. I actually won't need, won't need that many lights, I don't think. Six, seven, one. Yeah, that's done it. Oh, they're going to be able to teleport in here. No. Okay, actually a bot mission. I should have known, but yeah, okay, we'll probably just have to use slabs. Uh, it's a little bit bland though, I might add a pattern to it uh, later on. Actually screw it, let's just do it now. Okay, that looks a bit nicer. The outside though, and not as nice. So we'll just do a tiny bit of work on this. And to stop Enderman from spawning up here, I'm going to do the same thing I did to the bridge and just put water down. All right, that is looking good so far. By looking at the diagram, we know that the next step is the shaft. Now, this can have to be 43 blocks, because that's how many blocks it takes for Enderman to be one hit. Now, because this part is the entrance, it can just go up like this, and we'll have a water elevator to go all the way up. <gasps> that's the perfect amount. Okay, yeah. Now this place is starting to look good. Now I want to see... Can you guys be quiet? Now I kind of like what they do in normal Enderman farms, where there's an air block and then there's a full block. Dude. I mean, technically it's Enderman, so you could do like two blocks, because they're three blocks tall, you could do two blocks and there's like no chance of them getting caught in there. But I don't think that would look as good. So I'll just stick to doing the one block air gap. And yeah, and I'll do that all the way up there. So that's going to be fun. You know how hard it is to get quartz? This has taken like four shulker boxes of quartz blocks. And I haven't got, I have to mine for it all. It's taking so long and I'm not even done. But we're done with the shaft. Now we can move on to where the Enderman will spawn. So first we should probably fill this in. Boom, that is where the Enderman will spawn. And now you'll be able to see my vision of what I want this to be. Well, at least I know the Enderman will spawn here now. 
Okay, so my vision is that I'll have an Endermite here. Just going. He'll just be going across there. Yeah, imagine that's an Endermite. He'll be going across and then back around doing a circle. And they'll get all the Endermen. And they will come to the edge where there'll be trapdoors. And they'll imagine this is a full block and fall in. So yeah, this is just my way of making it more fun. And it's way less efficient than the normal version. But, I mean, it works. We're also going to put a double carpet up here. Now normally I just use water if I wanted to stop Enderman from spawning somewhere. But because this is at the top of the build, I don't want water flowing down. I'll use carpets and they'll have the same effect. But you got used to them. Okay, now we can put the minecarts in. Why does this not reach here? Okay, so we haven't added too many piled rails because we don't want it to go too fast. I think that might make the farm worse. So, how about this? Okay, we're gonna need a few more. Also, we're going to replace the torches with redstone blocks because I don't want to increase the light level so Enderman won't spawn. Okay, now let's try this. I think that's a good speed. Yeah, I like that. gonna do is we're gonna like get to this corner over here make a box then we're gonna put this chest plate on remember that we've got on and not to jump off and do this until we get an end of night oh there we go boom boom okay that. Very cool this. Push that and hope he doesn't die. Alright, let's hope this works. Oh, there's some Enderman. Oh, there's... Oh! It's working. I know, like, I should expect this to work because, you know, I did it all perfectly. I'm, I'm surprised. He's still alive. I was kind of scared they then we'll be able to teleport up here and kill him. But no, that's all worked. And that is the base of this Enderman farm done. What's left to do is add some uh, quality of life features and this would be done. First things first, I think a on and off switch would be good. And we will be able to use the redstone lamps that I didn't get to use earlier. Now I'm no expert and I can't do any fancy redstone as I'm just going to do like a spiral going up because that seems like the easiest way of doing it. And then put repeaters down to keep it going. Alright, then we're going to put redstone lamps in the corners of here. Dude, what are you doing? Then we're going to get redstone torches, put them here, then lead this to red... I'll be honest, I don't really know how this works. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it. No, they're still on. Okay, so we need the redstone torches to be off. So if I put one at the bottom, so if I put a lever at the bottom, then like that, I think I'm being smart right now. Okay, so it's off right now. Then if we do that and it's still off, is that not supposed to lay up? How do we do this? Oh, I've got a way better idea. We're gonna get pistons and we're gonna push redstone blocks up. I'm a genius. Oh, these need to be sticky pistons.
Boom. So right now, the lamps are on, but if I flip this switch, no, the lights are still on. How does, how does it do that? What's powering the piston? Huh? Quasi connectivity? Put a slime block on top of the piston and the redstone block on the slime block. Okay, so this time we'll do this, this, this. Lights are off right now. The lights are on. Okay, but now, it's not over yet. Now, if I do this, okay, it works. Definitely didn't take way longer than I expected. All right, for the next two Figma bobs that I want to add to this thing, they're both going to need soul sand. So let's get some of that. We're also going to need a little bit of blackstone. Oh, forgot to mention, we're also going to need a little bit of kelp. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get a bit of soul sand, put it there. Now this is going to be our elevator up to the top. Build up walls here, and then put water here, go back down, and then put kelp going all the way up, go back down again, remove that. And yay, now we got a way to go all the way up, which isn't really that useful. I probably won't use it that much, but we have it. And now let's make a way down. Ooh. Boom, way down. But as you saw, we got a lot more soul sands than we needed. Well, that's because we're going to use it somewhere else. I want a way to run around the edge and easily be able to kill Enderman. And I've got soul speed. So if I just put soul sand going around, then I'll be able to go around faster. Okay, that took a little bit. Kind of regretting making this thing out of obsidian, but now what we're gonna do is remove these blocks as well. Now we're gonna put the soul sand in. Then we get some black stone, make this into slabs and just put that on top of this and you still get the soul sand effects. And a little part of me thinks that Enderman might be able to teleport onto here because that's a slab, this is a slab, so there's actually three blocks in between here. So I'm gonna put water on top. Does that slow it down? Um, well, we'll keep it like this then. We'll remove all the water. Nice, but this is gonna make it easier so we can be over here, boom, kill Enderman. But obviously any good Enderman farm is gonna have to have enchanting table so we're gonna make one of those and this enchanting table will go right in the center we'll put the bookshelves like this boom get some carpet put it around like this then we're gonna make some quartz stairs and a barrel carefully remove all this put a barrel under here then put that there, so that's a cool little thing. Boom, that is done. The last thing I'm thinking of adding to this place is a way of disposing of all these ender pearls, because that's, that's too much. And it's just one chest, so I've got to chew them off, maybe, into the void. But how do I do that? I'm searching on YouTube. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, keep on the droppers. Let me go like that. Oh no, no. Okay, I've made a mistake. Um, so we will keep the, or maybe we'll just have this one going down. Uh, actually, we need a bit more room. Does that work? That's facing like that, okay. We'll have a hopper going like this. Clear a bit of space over here. 
Uh, we might need a bit more. Extend this by two. Boom, like that. Then comparator, go in into that. Repeater, like that. Redstone, around here. And then a repeater there. Okay, if there's an. Seems to be a block here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it works. It's just a little extension on the farm. And then we can just close this off. And we don't need to worry about that now. Okay, well actually, can I hear it? Can I hear it from here? Can I hear it from here? Only a little bit. I might extend it out a little bit more, just so I don't hear it. Boom, that is further away. And now from here, I can hear it a little bit. And from here, I don't hear it. Ah, perfect. And with that last little bit, I think this farm is done. And what we can do now is, we can fully enchant our armor and our tools with the stuff that we're missing. 